By their very definition, alien encounters are always going to be weird, but some people's stories of abduction and molestation by beings beyond the stars are a hell of a lot weirder than others. So let's investigate a few of the wackier claims involving pancakes, perverts, and presidents in our list of the seven strangest alien encounters. Number 7. Intergalactic Intercourse Antonio Villas Boas was a Brazilian farmer working on his field at night to avoid the harsh daytime sun when he saw a bright red light in the sky. As it came towards him, he jumped in his tractor to drive away, but the tractor stalled, and Antonio was dragged into the craft by four humanoid creatures. So far, there's nothing regular about this story. Until Mr. Villas Boas describes what happened on the ship back in 1957. He recalls being stripped naked, smeared in some kind of weird gel, and being forced to bang a female alien. His spacefaring suitor was apparently quite the looker, with long white hair, big blue eyes like a cat, and a bright red pubic hair like a Scotsman. Sounds like the kind of strange encounter I could go for. This lady alien wasn't much for foreplay though, as instead of kissing him, she merely nipped on his chin like a hungry dog. After his intergalactic booty call was over, the aliens made hand motions, which he interpreted as an implication that the alien was now pregnant and that the female alien seemed relieved their encounter was over. Upon his return, Villas Boas was found to be suffering from mild radiation sickness and was covered in strange lesions. Great, so as well as having to stump up child support for some jerk-off alien kid and his ungrateful mother 10 years down the line, he's also caught space gonorrhea. Super. Number 6. Take me to your leader. When some small town hit claims that aliens took him aboard their spaceship and did stuff to his bottom, chances are nobody's going to take the guy seriously. But what if you have to? Because the man who says he's been abducted by aliens is your president. Multimillionaire Kursen Ilyuzinov was the ruler of the Republic of Kamkia in Russia from 1993 to 2010, and during this time he claims aliens in yellow spacesuits took him to outer space one night in 1997. After being whisked away in a giant ship, Ilyuzinov says he asked his abductors to return him to Earth as soon as possible because he had politician -y stuff to do in two days' time. He revealed this encounter in 2010 while still in office, leading many Russian politicians to wonder if Ilyuzinov was fit to govern. But many people had already asked this question after Ilyuzinov, a chess fanatic and former president of the International Chess Federation, demanded that chess be made compulsory for school kids and spent millions of public money building a place called Chess City, despite Kamikia being an extremely poor region. And why is Kursan Ilyum Zinov so keen to pump all this money into chess-based ventures? Well, it may have something to do with the fact that he believes chess was invented by aliens. Number 5. A Spaceman's Story Look, we all know politicians are all nuts, so let's look at an example of an alien encounter from a somewhat more reputable human being. A man of science, an explorer who genuinely and verifiably has left the Earth. International Space Station Commander Leroy Chayo Commander Chayo ran the ISS between 2004 and 2005, and during a spacewalk to install navigation antennas, he reported seeing an unidentified object in the distance, describing it as some lights that seemed to be in a line and it was almost like an upside down check mark. And I saw them fly by and thought it was awfully strange. You're damn right it's strange. Chao has never been able to identify exactly what he saw over 10 years after the incident, and while he is skeptical about the idea of aliens coming to Earth to visit us, he says he doesn't rule it out 100%. Number 4. Mini Malaysian Monsters This next supposed encounter with aliens is unique on this list because it actually involves the aliens almost being abducted themselves by little kids. On August 19, 1970, a group of Malaysian children were playing in a field when they saw a UFO measuring only a meter across. From this craft, several 3-inch humanoid aliens came out in blue suits and tried to install an antenna onto a tree. But when one of the kids tried to grab their leader, he was shot by a teeny tiny ray gun and the children scattered. 
leaving the child with a small burn wound to his thigh. Now, obviously we're all thinking the same thing here. These kids bummed a bunch of smokes, hid out in the forest to blaze a few, and concocted a crazy explanation for the cigarette burn on his leg. But interestingly, sightings of miniature UFOs are extremely common in Malaysia, and over the past 60 years, hundreds of similar reports have come from both children and adults. So unless they're all conspiring to hide their secret nicotine addiction, what the hell is going on here? Number 3. A Bunch of Squares 19-year-old Lee Parrish was driving home late on January 27, 1977, when he says his car was lifted into the air by creatures he described as cold alien rectangles. One of these beings was about 20 foot tall with a straight robotic arm jutting out of its black body. The second was red in color but more like a rectangular prism and the third alien was a white prism 6 feet tall. When the red prism approached and touched Mr. Parrish, he felt a sense of severe coldness and pain. And after a few minutes in his presence, the three creatures mysteriously merged together. When Lee Parrish returned to his family after this experience, the whites of his eyes were bloodshot and he'd been gone for 45 minutes on a trip which should have only taken seven. Now am I the only one who thinks trip is exactly the right word to use here? It seems what really happened was that Lee Parrish managed to concoct an extremely creative story to hide the fact that he got high in a parking lot and spent 45 minutes arguing with two dumpsters and a coke machine. Number 2. A Bite to Eat On July 23rd, 1992, Australian Peter Curry was just minding his own business taking a nap on his couch when he woke up to find two alien women one blonde and one Asian sat by him completely naked. The blonde pulled Corey's Ford into her breast, but being a married man, he moved away instantly. The alien forced him back and Corey became stuck there due to the woman's strength. So he reacted by biting off a chunk of her boob, but the blonde didn't react and nor did she bleed. But she did look rather annoyed as if to say, this isn't how it's supposed to work. Corey then describes choking on a lump of extraterrestrial titty and going to the bathroom for water where he found a large piece of blonde hair trapped inside his foreskin. Peter Corey returned to his room with the alien woman nowhere to be seen and somehow he managed to find someone crazy enough to test the blonde hair he found lodged up his peepee. The hair's DNA was linked to a rare subgroup of people with Chinese mongoloid ancestry whose hair isn't naturally blonde. However, those who viewed the hair described it not as blonde, but gray. And when you combine this with the knowledge that Peter Corey was on a lot of heavy pain medication at the time, it seems likely that this doped up Australian dude got freaky with an old Chinese lady and went a little crazy with a nip nibbling. Number 1. A Cosmic Cookout What would you do if you met an alien today? Would you run, would you fight, or would you sit down with them and eat brunch like Joe Simonton? On April 18th, 1961, Simonton says a group of Italian-looking aliens landed near his home in Eagle River, Wisconsin. But instead of taking blood samples, probing him, or making him screw a hot alien chick, all these guys want to do is grab some chow. Simonton claims the aliens set up a grill and started using it to make some strange kind of pancakes. They asked him to fill up a jug of water and gave him some of their grilled pancakes as a reward. He says they tasted like cardboard, but the aliens offered him three more and he didn't want to seem impolite, so he took them. This story sounds weird already, but it gets even weirder when you find out that the US Air Force actually sent someone around to investigate. The pancakes were tested at the Air Force Technical Intelligence Center, and while they were mostly comprised of flour, sugar, and grease, they also contain an as yet unidentified form of wheat. So here's a tip for you folks. If you're ever bored one day, just phone out the Air Force with a story about alien chefs bringing you some kind of boiled trifle. They'll be around in a jiffy. So that's our list, but if you're after some stories of alien encounters that are a bit more plausible and contain 100% less alien sex, then why not check out our recent video on the 7 most credible UFO sightings.